Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game. And today we are finishing our look at Camel Up with my review of the game, where you'll finally find out what I think of it. But first you might want to have a look at how to play the game or even an example of the game being played. If so, please check out my previous videos. But with that out of the way, let's talk about what Camel Up is. And as you can tell, looking at the box here, it's about camels racing, but it's more about the betting aspect of camel racing than the actual racing of the camels. You don't control a single camel and you're not trying to have that camel win. No, what you're doing is placing bets either on individual stages of the race that are made up of, that make up the rounds of the race called legs, or you're placing bets on the final outcome of that race. Now, the way this all works is very much a case of the earlier you bet, the more return you get because of the fact that whoever bets first, either in the leg or overall the whole game, gets the higher reward. But only, of course, if you <laughs> bet on the right camel. And so that creates this interest that you want to get as much information as possible, but you don't want to give, leave it too long so that your opponents have all that information. So that's kind of interesting. But before I talk more about my thoughts on how these mechanics work, let me talk about the artwork in this game. Now, I really like the look of the box here. Okay, it's cartoony, but it really gets a what cross as far as I'm concerned, the feel of this game, which is, it is a light, silly game. And it does that perfectly with the camels all piling over each other, etc. Just that comedic, cartoony artwork does a perfect job of that. And it carries through in the rest of the game. Now, they could have just made this a simple racetrack, and of course you've got the close-up there on the camels, which is really pretty but they could have made this just a simple, boring racetrack. And they haven't, they've made this really pretty. And okay, it's cartoon pretty, but you know, you've got the little people, you've got the guy selling drinks, you've got this exhausted, worn out camel in the uh, loser's enclosure, and you've got the guy, camel on the pedestal. For some reason, you've got the Monopoly guy there. Not too sure on that one, but uh, he's there. And so you've just got these lovely little drawings. It's full of bright, vibrant colors. The artwork is great to my mind. And this is very much a family kind of gateway intro -y game. And the artwork will appeal to that younger age group, definitely, which of course I fall into, undoubtedly. And that artwork carries through on all the cards. You've got the Okay, less so with the pictures of the characters. They're, they're kind of dull, but there's a bit of a feel there, um, but not much. But then you flip these cards over and you've got an unhappy camel and a happy camel, and it's just really nice. And it just, that whole theme of this jokingness is going through in all the artwork on everything. You know, you've got these speeding camels. Well, you've got your Oasis tiles here and you know, You've got lush oasis, dried up oasis. They just work and look really nice. And probably my favorite thing artwork wise in this is the pyramid because they've put actual attention to detail when they've done this pyramid. It's got like little bits of graffiti that I think is like designer names or something. I've not really looked into it. But you've got like a little snake. You've got in, in this dark little bit here, some eyes peeking out. <laughs> And it's like, they didn't need to do any of that, but it, it's nice and it adds a little joke. And uh, it's interesting, you've got these <laughs> little tokens here and these are all different. These could have the same picture on and they don't. So these ones for the dice. Okay, they've got the same dice, the same pyramid on, but then they've each got this little bit that's different around the pyramid. And that's just really nice and just makes it more interesting artistically at least. So that's the artwork. Now I want to talk about the components. And as with most games, there's very little to fault with the components here. 
the board is not as high a quality as some boards and it is only single sided but that's fine it works and as I say it's it's a bit thinner than some boards would be and I've already seen a bit of tearing on fold here so it could be better quality but it's by no means bad quality I just want to be clear with that then one of the kind of gimmicky things component wise about this game but it's kind of nice and fun to have is this pyramid and like rolling the dice out from it it's just different and I kind of like it there is a concern that it will break and part of that is because I've been to games cafes where these are broken but we're talking games cafes where they're seeing hundreds of plays and okay I play this pretty often because it's so quick and easy to play but I'm unlikely to hit that level of use and they're sensible enough to know that the elastic will give over time and will snap even if the cardboard itself isn't going to break so they provide you with a spare elastic band which is really good of them component wise and not something they had to do and it just makes for a nicer game experience now, one thing that is a little disappointing, and I'm not seeing it yet on these, but these coin components, both with the cards and with the uh, tokens for the coins, are again, it's much like with the board, it's just not quite as high good quality as you might find in some other games. But with that being said, this is a lot cheaper than those other games. So you are getting the quality you pay for. And as I say, with these coins, I have seen they, they kind of peel apart quite quickly. But I'm not seeing it yet on mine. Um, and I've had this probably six months or more with good, probably nearly 30 play, plays of it now. So, you know, it is lasting pretty well. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm saying components aren't as high as some other games but they're by no means shoddy. They just could be better. Um, next thing is the tiles. Now, all these tiles come from the same stock. These are pretty good stock, pretty sturdy tiles. No, no complaints here. Um, I think they've done a really good job on those. As I say, it's a shame that the board isn't heavier weight because these are pretty much the same weight as the board. But obviously, the board being bigger, you would expect kind of a bit more sturdiness there to the board and then of course that leaves two things to talk about component wise one is the lovely wooden camels and these are so nicely cut and stack so nicely and perfectly and I, I just love them and it's fun stacking them up and moving them around and just, yeah, they, these are gorgeous. I, I, okay, they're not detailed, but I, I just love the tactile experience that these add to the game. And the fact that the colors are nice and bright, that they're good quality wooden pieces that have been painted. And I like that the dice are wooden as well. And it helps them then match the camels, which is good. And again, it's, it's nice and colorful and it all just fits in really well with the theme. But that, of course, leaves us with gameplay. And gameplay-wise, there's a small amount of strategy in this because you've got to bet early, but it's like real life when it comes to betting. The house is always going to win, which means often you're going to lose. And a lot of it comes down to just lucky guesses. But when it's a game that is this short, and we're talking 15, 20 minutes, you don't really ex mind the fact that, oh, I lost, I, I bet on the wrong camel there. It, you know, it, you just don't mind that it came down to luck in the end of those dice. And so that works really nicely. And okay, I would class this as a party game and as a filler because of A, how quickly it plays, and B, because of how many people it'll play. This, this goes up to eight, the base game. And then there is an expansion that will allow you to go to 10 people. So this is probably the game I have that will play the most people. And it does a really great job of it. So I can't really fault the gameplay 
you know, everyone's turn proceeds quickly because everyone knows that there's no point agonizing too much over or oh, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, because it just comes down to the dice. But the game passes so quickly, you have a great time, you have a laugh and you want to play again. And I can't recommend this game enough for that. But as I just mentioned about the scaling on this game, that it plays up to eight people, that of course leaves the question, can two play Camel Up? I mean, if it will play eight that well, surely it doesn't play two. Well, two can play Camel Up. Two can really play Camel Up. I love playing this two player with just me and my wife. Okay, the more people, the more fun. I'm, I'm not gonna go lying there but it's still fun. You still have that same sense of chaos and it's just kind of accelerated because it's quicker with fewer people and you get more interaction in that actual race. So whereas when you've got eight people, it's possible for you not to get a turn in a leg because if five people roll the dice, that's the end of the leg. Whereas when you're playing with two, you, there's a lot more back and forth and you've got a lot more choice of what's going on in that race and a lot more influence over it. So it is it is great as a two player game and it's just as fun, it just as much has that feel of chaos and I love it. And if you are looking for a reasonably cheap, fun filler game that will play, this, this is the, the game I've encountered that scales the best. I've never encountered a game that will scale so well from low player numbers to high player numbers. And I wholeheartedly say, go out and try this game. In fact, it's, I'm almost tempted because it's so cheap to say, just get this game. I feel anyone who tries it will love it. Everyone I've tried to play with, this is a game I use as a gateway game and that I use with people who don't like playing games and they enjoy it and have fun. I, I think, Gamers will play this and enjoy it, and non-gamers will. There is not anyone I've ever encountered who has not liked and enjoyed this game. So, that is my gleaming review for Camel Up. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course if you have, please do check out the rest of my videos. And of course subscribe to the channel as well, and share it with your friends and family. Also, please do check us out on social media, we're on Facebook and also on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.